shady, shady, shadiness on the part of Pat Robertson. So there's a new documentary coming out, and it's talking about how the, it's shining new light on some old allegations. Now, I don't know if you remember this, Jake. I remember rumors about this, that he was using money that was initially designated for African refugees, but he was using it instead to support his own interest in diamond mining. Okay, millions of dollars. Uh, this documentary apparently came out today at the Toronto International Film Festival, and it talks about uh, you know, how there are pilots coming out and saying very specifics that they were supposed to be en route to uh, drop off all of these great supplies to these poor African uh, people who were dying in the Rwandan genocide. And instead, Pat Robertson's like, oh no, I'm praying for diamonds. He's wanting, he's wanting his diamonds. So it's, I remember covering that story when it first came out, right. and it was amazing. And I'm so glad they did the documentary because they got more into details and they, as Ebony was referring to, they, they talked to the helicopter pilots right. and the pilots like, look, we, we had to tell the story to someone because we couldn't believe it. Yeah. Pat Robertson was on one of the helicopters. So, so to give you a sense, like <laughs> he goes to a 700 club and he's, you know, he's a holy man and he says, oh my God, we're going to help these poor Rwandans. There was a genocide. We need money for helicopters so we can bring in the aid. Apparently they did about two or three runs to help the victims. And then the rest of the time, they use the helicopters to help in diamond mines in Africa that Pat Robertson was financially connected to. I mean, does it get any more evil than that? And the worst part though, the name, Operation Blessing. Like, the audacity, so bad, so bad, so shady. Uh, you know, and what's crazy too, is that the Virginia Office of Consumer Affairs, they had a finding. They actually investigated this and they came out and said that we found that he willfully induced contributions from the public through the use of misleading statements and other implications. They had a finding of this. Still de declined to prosecute. So that's the interesting thing, right? Yeah. Like the government says, yeah, he did it, right? Right, right, right absolutely. But, but then the state's attorney's office, who of course Robertson's very connected yeah. in the right wing communities in that state. It's Virginia, e yeah. Et cetera, you know. Yeah. And so the state prosecutor just happens to say, oh golly gee, I'm not going to go after this fraud. If you don't go after this fraud, what fraud do you go after? Yeah, and then of course Pat Robinson using the fact that the state declines to prosecute has now taught his innocence, right? As if that matters, as if because they don't feel like they have enough evidence to prove your guilt, that now equates innocence. People kill me with that. I hate that. It just means that they didn't feel comfortable in their case to get a, a, a conviction. That's all that means. Yeah. Maybe. And, no, that's absolutely yeah. right. It certainly doesn't mean he's innocent, yeah. but now he gets to say, well, look, the crooked system let yeah. me declare my innocence, right? <laughs> so now the right. documentary is called Mission Congo. Right. It's directed by Lara Zizek and David Turner, right. and it's from the reporting, the original reporting that we reported back all the way back in 2008 right. from uh, journalist Bill Sizemore. Yeah. And what I like is that they got the pilots to actually get on air yeah. and say, okay, okay, look, this is what happened. And one of the pilots said that while Pat Robertson was in the helicopter going to use the money that people had given for genocide victims yeah. for his own diamond mines that they quote he said we prayed for diamonds God, I could like visualize that right can't you just see him just like oh dear lordy please let me find some diamonds like it's such a bad look I uh, just I don't know my grandma was like an avid fan of the 700 club too, oh is so, that right yeah seriously oh, every, no. oh man so break her heart right here so okay sad. so please tell her never <laughs> never give a dime to this guy yeah this guy awful. is such a huckster i mean he's like classic snake oil salesman yep. from like early 1900s of america etc so sad. this guy claimed that he leg squatted two thousand pounds okay oh, leg press i should be clear okay yeah, right, right. so uh, <laughs> now leg press is a little easier than a squat right, right. Well, 2,000 pounds when he was in his 70s, I think, right? And you know why? He could do that because of his miracle shakes that he sells on his website. Right, that's another ploy. It's like, yeah, how outrageous and scandalous is this dude gonna get? It's ridiculous. How does he keep getting away with this is my question. It's just crazy to me. Well, look, when you're connected and you yeah. got friends in high places, and think about it too, because if you're an actual religious person, you're a real Christian, right? Yeah. And Pat Roberts says, oh no, but I, I, I'm, I'm a reverend and I'm a Christian. And, <laughs> I like but, that, that was cute. Okay. Thank you. I, I, I am, and he's got no neck and he does this way. I, I'm a real Christian. But you see the evidence that right. in fact, he's exactly what gives Christians a bad name. Right, right? It's, not, it's not even the belief. I read a quote today, it's not your beliefs that make you a good person, it's your behavior. 
and, right. and his, he's just not walking the walk. And it looks like he hasn't been for quite a while. Very disappointing. So the state officials who gave him a pass on this, right. based on him being a Christian or whatever else, mm -hmm. they're not Christians either, no, right? No. I mean, th this is the worst kind of using religion to trick people so well, that you could enrich yourself. And international genocide. I mean, this is like we're back here with Syria. You know, we, we really are this country of compassion. And we want to support, you know, countries that can't seem to, you know, get it together internally. And, and you take it and you exploit it in this way. Yeah, I, I, just last thing. I literally cannot imagine a worse scam. Oh, so like, bad. Yeah. Robbing people who want to help, like the the Children biggest victims, five hundred thousand oh people died in Rwanda, right? Yeah. Yeah. And the people that are watching Seven Hundred Club are not bad people, right? They're no. like your grandmother, yeah, right? She's so good. And they take her, <laughs> they take her, her innocence, right? And her good intentions, her good hearts, and they laugh at her behind their back, yep. right? Yep. And then they go. <laughs> Instead, I'm going to mine diamonds yeah, with it. Yeah, you're fueling your own self-interested operation. This guy is, I don't even know how he sleeps at night. Yeah, and you know, uh -huh. JR was saying earlier, like, you know, we cover all these stories, and like, now he's like Grandpa Pat, and he's right. so over the top and so stupid, right. and we laugh and stuff <laughs> right. like that. But every time we laugh, we should also remember This is real that, money. Yeah. yeah, I mean, this guy is like the heart of evil. Yeah. He really is.